Hi guys and welcome to your August 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading. Week 3 month in bonus for the beautiful sign of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello Virgo. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam, hello to my members, my patrons, and my coffee club members. Everything you need is below in the description box. If you're interested in booking a reading, all of that, what you need is below. We start this reading now. All right. So, Virgo. One of the things that I did not do in your bonus yet, and I wanted to do that on camera, was to get how you were feeling about this situation. I was sitting here pre-shuffling your energy and um, the romantic intention of argument came out. Are you hearing each other? Um, I stuck it back in and um, sometimes when they come out fast, it's just a feeling. I don't know how to describe it to you guys. If you shuffle and you have a relationship with your cards, then you would know. Um, and as I was looking at the story, I was like, oh, okay. So I put the card back, shuffled some more, you know, t trying to tap into your energy. It came out again. I mean, as soon as I put it in, it flew right back out. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then I see a lot of combative energy. It is your season. Happy birthday. Who in the hell are you arguing with? Um, and so I said, I'm going to stop and start this with Virgo on or inside of the pre-shuffle. And we're just going to call it you know, the video. So the first card describing your partner's energy or their romantic t intentions is unfair, unfair, unclear. You have the third party card. Ding, ding, ding. I don't think I've had a third party card for you guys in a while. So I don't know what this is about. In the heart place, we have lust. And when I saw this unfold and I'm like, what is this? We have argument. Are you hearing each other? We also have the card of overcoming the odds. We have trust issues and we do have faith and destiny. Things will work out in the end. Um, so it is obvious that there is a lot of arguing. Um, there is a perceived lust that lives in the heart of this person that you're connected with. Um, this is told and read from their perspective. This is their romantic intentions. Um, and obviously this is either obviously what they feel about you and they aren't telling you, or this is what's going on between you two right now. You're definitely at odds and something has come in here and pushed you to a level um, that you guys are arguing. There's, a, there's an unclear path in front of you. A lot of trust issues, but there is one of you that definitely has, you know, faith and destiny. Um, and it seems like, you know, one of you definitely wants to stay. So how does Virgo feel? We have twin flames that came out. I put it back, um, shuffled again. It did not come out. So it came out in the pre shuffle and I was like, okay, put it back in, kept shuffling. I have a system. And how does Virgo feel, please? We have take the leap. So, oh, and fix it. You have three. We're going to take three. I normally only do two, but we're going to take three. All right. So if they fix this energy between you, Virgo, you're feeling like you will um, allow them to fix it because you want this relationship. So um, they obviously have done something to you that involves another party. Um, and you are coming out saying that you believe that the energy between you guys is very, very spiritual. You believe this to be your twin flame. You want them to fix it. And if they fix this and sit down and communicate it with you and get you to a point where you understand this, you will take the leap and have faith and trust that you're doing the right thing. Apparently, this person has faith that in destiny um, and they, they're kind of feeling the same way, but they definitely got caught up in the act. Um, they brought a lot of odds to your door. They brought a lot of unclear energy. They obviously brought a third party. They have a lot of lust in their heart to do what they want to do. And you don't trust them. I was not expecting this in your birthday season. 
Oh, my goodness. We're only, what, about eight days into your season? Okay, let's go ahead. Clarify unclear. Unclear is being clarified by the star. So, obviously, right now, although things are unclear between you two, this person definitely has, um, you know, you and the person that you're thinking of wished upon the same star. Don't lose faith in your connection now. So both of you guys are kind of in the leap of faith energy. Something did come cl crashing down and they are going into hope, healing, and optimism. Please clarify third party. That's being clarified by the chariot. So conflict within the mind and heart may have you feeling a little out of control. Emotionally find your center and renew your confidence back in yourself as you steer yourself on track. Um, your person moved forward in a situation, brought you into a situation that was not conducive for the growth of this relationship and flat out involved you in a third party. Now, third party also means the following. So if it doesn't resonate with you like full blown third party energy, but I'm kind of thinking this time it does because I'm looking at lust and trust issues and all the rest of this stuff. Um, we do have external party as well. So we're talking about karmic contracts, family, finances, or other material concerns or responsibilities are causing interference and stress. Um, for a very small part of you, uh, portion of you this time, Virgo Collective, that's how I'm resonating with this. For the majority of the, this, you, this is a, a, flat, a plain, flat out third party. I see it. Um, I feel it this time and I try to have an open mind, but this time it's pretty clear that this is a third party. They move forward in the third party energy. Oh, try to catch it. So far they're coming out with all. Okay. Um, it looks like they were the king of pentacles here. Clarifying lust to me. That means that this was possibly a relationship that they have with somebody else already. Um, keep following your inner truth. Look at the trial and error along, uh, along the look at any trial and error along the way as it is learning paths to your success. They had something with someone else. Um, they were in a relationship and gave that pinnacle to someone else. As a result, when they came your way, there was a connection that's coming up in your energy, Virgo. Remember, these three down here belong to you. Um, and as a result of that, they got the magician as well. This lust is being clarified by the king of pentacles and the magician. They manipulated the situation. Um, that pentacle must be tied to another person. Maybe they're in a relationship with somebody else or they have children with somebody else or they own property with somebody else. Maybe this is an ex-wife. This is definitely somebody that they have a financial tie with. OK, and if they decided in a fit of um, lust or some type of obviously um, 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 their judgment was not the greatest. They allowed their lust to betray their feelings and as a result it looks like they put you in the third party i feel like this was with someone that they were not with and then they got back with them but not officially that they were kind of just messing around with that's lust that's not you know i i see it so i have to call it out the argument was definitely is being clarified by the ten of pentacles so of course the, the argument between you guys was definitely about the commitment what is your uh, level of com uh, commitment? How deep is your love? What is going on? What? Why are you doing this? Um, that King of Pentacles ties back to this Ten of Pentacles, which lets me believe again, they can't commit to you if they're already committed to something else. Some of you guys um, are com are connecting with someone that is connected with somebody else um, financially because of the situation or the stipulations of their ex their their you know their previous agreement and they're not all the way done or they're arguing with this person over money and can dabble dib and dabble with that person every now and again whatever it was you found out virgo overcome the odds is being clarified by the seven of wands so they are also defensive about what they're doing um 
they're very defensive about these odds when confronted are where are you being defensive in resistance or to some something or someone if you feel you're being criticized or attacked and are finding yourself reactionary take some time away from the situation to gain a clearer perspective and that's exactly what happened overcome the odds is being clarified by this defensive energy trust issues is being clarified by the eight of swords so you are definitely feeling trapped and powerless in this um you have told them that you feel completely um, you don't trust them and you have um, issues with the way that they have carried themselves, um, Virgo. So I know that you are afraid to move forward. However, you guys did experience a bit of a connection and faith and destiny is being clarified by the hermit. So you guys have separated. <laughs> And as a result of that, you are not speaking right now. Um, they shut down. That's the reason why you want them to fix it and sit down and communicate. So you really do feel like, according to your energy, if they just did what they were supposed to do, instead of shutting down, defending themselves, um, and shutting down in the Eight of Swords, and then, you know, removing themselves out of the situation like the Hermit, and they really just spoke to you, then you would have a clear understanding of what this situation is. Let's go ahead and clarify your, oh, here we go. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to shuffle. Um, so we're going to go in and clarify your energy really quickly. So this is really interesting. This feels like something that you did not know about. Twin Flames is being clarified by Page of Swords. There is an excitement in the air about this individual. You fell for this person, Virgo. But this page brings a lot of obstacles. In order to be a part of this person's life, you're going to have to deal with this pinnacle situation. This king of pinnacles is tied to ten pinnacles that don't have anything to do with you. Um, and, and this is what it is. So um, hold, they're holding back. Look, someone is holding back communication, preferring to stand on the sidelines and observe as they gain the courage to speak their truth. They're trying to figure out how they're going to say something to you. They have shut down. Um, have the pa have patience and compassion. Communication doesn't always come easy to all. You do feel like this is your twin flame, though. For some of you Virgos, clarify, fix it. Um, they're not going to come to you and say what they need to say yet. They're not ready to speak their truth. Five of Wands, of course, conflict, quarreling, and competition. You feel like there is a there's drama between them and this person, this other pinnacle. Take a step back from the drama that's being woven and look at the situation from a higher perspective, Virgo. What is contributing to the conflict and how might you shift the energy in your outer world by shifting the energy within yourself? You feel like this ain't have this don't got to do with you. So, you know, you feel very much so like it's this other person. Your energy is really interesting. Um, again, both of you guys are coming in with an energy of taking the leap. Um, they have faith in destiny. They feel like, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. They have this nonchalant attitude. Um, you want to take the leap with the eight of wands. You want the quick move in communication. But at the same time, you've come to a quick conclusion. Um, and that is overall for the both of you that this is a deep spiritual connection and the lovers. Uh, this is a deep soul connection. And it's strengthening. Believe it or not, although it is terrible, um, what's going on between you guys, interestingly enough, it seems almost as if the love grow, grows stronger the, the, the longer you guys are away from one another. And even though they have shut down, they really do believe that things will work out in the end. They're just not ready to reveal their whole truth to you yet. This relationship with the deep soul connection is strengthening. Okay, have faith in this divine unfolding and release any resistance and false ideas. Allow yourself to honor the pure and sacred love within this partnership. Um, two parts create one whole in the sacred union of, of feminine and masculine energies. With another or within yourself, ask yourself if you are choosing love, harmony, and balance within your connection. And that is what they choose to do. But this is a deep spiritual connection. And ta-da, this is the start of a twin flame journey for some of you guys. So like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. 
We are going to put your energy aside, Virgo, so we can bring it forth in your main video. Wow, I was not expecting this. So right now they have a truth about a third party. Um, they are not ready to come forward with that truth, but they really do have faith in this connection. You guys connected on the level that was just completely divine. You were meant to cross each other's paths, but something isn't right about something, Virgo. Um, and you guys are definitely in separation right now um, because your person is coming to the forefront, admitting that they have completely shut down. They're hopeful, um, but they have manipulated this, this situation. Um, they are tied to 10 pinnacles, although they were trying to build 10 pinnacles with you. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much. I will see everybody in their main video. After that, I will see you in your you versus them. And to everyone else, please, Virgo, make sure that you go and vote uh, for your upload um, schedule starting tomorrow, September the 1st. Bye, Virgo.